Thank you, Michelle, for joining us today. I appreciate you taking the time to let us know what your experience was inside of a Travel Passion to Profit program. So I'm going to start off and uh, tell me what was going on in your business before you decided to join the program. So with my business, this was a lot because it was personal and business for me. So with my business, I felt kind of lost. I was um, booking for free. Um, I know you don't want to hear that, <laughs> um, but in my personal life also, because of course your personal life does impact your business. I share with you privately, but I was dealing with some challenges and I was actually able to um, work on that a bit. So that's what was happening. I wasn't sure on booking and afraid to book, uh, charge people. And then also my personal life, I was just a hot mess. <laughs> yeah, I've been there. So I totally understand. <laughs> And it does impact, it does impact your business. And so being able to compartmentalize what's going on in your personal life so that you can focus on your business life is something that is required, but then you do still need to get some of those things straight as well. So, all right. So you, what made you decide to jump? So we met and you were in that space in your business and what made you decide to go ahead and proceed with uh, enrolling in the program? Okay, so permission to be raw, right? Um, absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> okay, so I said, number one, she looks like me, like, you know? Awesome, uh, that's exactly <laughs> what I wanna hear. <laughs> and it was it's good. Um, you know, I'm not biased or anything, but it was just the fact that it's hard to find someone to relate to you who knows, um, you know, I've been told like, don't post your picture and um, on your business in case there is like uh, someone who's not your of your race and they won't book with you and I'm like, well, well, how are they going to know who I am, right? So when I saw you, I was like, yeah, I'm going to go with her. And then I like that you were raw. Um, you didn't beat around the bush. You just said what you had to say. Um, I heard about the bees in your head and I'm like, who is she talking to? Um, so I just liked it. I, I love I love the real you and how you were just, you let it be known. If you don't like it, then you might have to go somewhere else. And that's the kind of business that I want. I don't want ha to have to be a different person just so I can make money. So that was one of the main reasons. And that's so important. I think um, that was something that I struggled with when I first started was how do I show up as my authentic self uh, without feeling a certain kind of way? And I had the, the, those same very concerns, like what kind of images should I use, right? I don't want to offend people. But the reality is, is I want to attract a certain person. I want to attract women of color. Um, so I make it very, very clear uh, in my imagery. And I, and I encourage you to do the same thing. If you don't, you're going to offend somebody, right? So, uh, you know, again, I try not to be offensive, but I'm very selective about who I want to work with. And so should you. And so I'm glad, I'm glad that it works because <laughs> my vision is clear and uh, you were attracted to that. And that's exactly what I, what I love. All right. So tell us about the program. What did you like about the program? Hmm, where do I begin? So number one, I feel like I grew so much, not only as an individual, but my business, um, period. Um, so of course, you know, I'm on the recruiting and the business side. I have grown in both parts. So I'm confident in what it is that I have to say. And I'm also confident in what it is that I'm booking. So I'm no more hesitation. I've become more consistent because you hold us accountable. And of course, I, let me not even say that. You hold us accountable. You have a lot of tools available for us, but we have to act upon it, right? Because, and I'm not throwing any jabs, but the thing is that I had a commitment. Like I knew that I was gonna be out of work and I was in school and I said, I need to do this in between this time frame." And you were like, okay, Michelle, if you want this and you were with me all the way, like I was annoying. I know I was, and I know you won't say it. <laughs> I know you won't, but I will. No, was no, no, you weren't. I mean, and I know that people feel like that because they, they ask questions and they're like, oh, well, I don't want to know. That's the reason why we create the support system that we do is for you to be able, because you don't know. Like if you don't feel comfortable asking questions, how are you going to get the answers? So what's annoying are the people that say, um, that join a program and I've been in programs or even join my program and don't ask questions and then say, oh, well, I don't know it's for me. Well, how the hell do you not, not know it's for you if you've not done the work? Like, I'd rather you say I did the work and it sucked than for you to say I didn't do the work and I didn't ask any questions and I didn't show up. Um, so ne never is it annoying, never. And I like that you said show up because you have an amazing schedule and at first I was like, man, it kind of sucks. And I was like, you know what? If I want this, I need to just show up. 
So I have made it my commitment. I have an alarm on my phone to make sure I'm able to work with my time management because I really suck at that. Um, so time management is better and I'm able to be there so I don't miss out on what I needed help with. And I think that's what helped me succeed. Um, it's at your own pace. That's what I do like about um, the program. It's at your own pace. So instead of it taking me maybe like 10 weeks, I said, I'm gonna do it in a month. Um, it, it worked for me, but you know, to each his own, of course. Um, I like that it's, um, you know, we live in a digital world, right? So for those who are traveling, just take your laptop with you and work. <laughs> That's it. Work and go live. I know that we had a few classmates that were, they were live in Jamaica and they were in class. So don't, there's no excuse. I was excuse. jealous. <laughs> I was, I was. Like, I was just jealous. Camera. Just turn off and stop posting. Like, I don't you don't need to show all that ocean in the background. <laughs> exactly. And you know what? That's another thing too. Believe it or not, the program encouraged me to want to travel more. Like, yes, I have a travel business. I want to travel, but how is it that I have my product and I'm not using my product? So now that I know how to, um, and I don't want to give too much away about the program, but now I know how to work my business. Now let, now let me go ahead and travel. I deserve a vacation after how much and what I did. So I have a few trips that's uh, booked. Um, side note, but yeah, sorry, go ahead. <laughs> Um, yeah, so you want to travel um, now that you've been uh, that you've been in the program because you've seen people who have actually been traveling. So same thing for me. I mean, I've been sort of a hermit since uh, you know the pandemic, and so to be able to see others doing doing it and being able to get out. So yes, absolutely, that's what we should do. We should take advantage of the benefits that we have. Right, I agree. I agree all the way. So that's awesome. Okay, so. What would be the one thing that you would like to see differently in the program? And this is sort of a trick question, Michelle. I want you to be honest if you do, I... I have been in a program during a transition, right? With the new schedule. Mm -hmm. So no lie, I, even though I was a little iffy about the time, I like the new schedule because we see each other more. So I was able to complete more than I did with the old schedule. Okay. So if you would have kept the old schedule, I'd have been like, oh, I hate that we meet just like, you know, once or twice. I can't remember because I wasn't as consistent in the beginning. But now um, I do love the new schedule. But as far as what would be better, like, I really, I don't, I can't complain because you made improvement. Like, the thing is that you listen to us and you apply it. And that's what I like about you. You don't just sit here and say, do ABC, but we're able to learn from each other, you know, um, and that. I can respect that because a lot of coaches that you go to, it's like, you're afraid to speak up. Cause it's like, I'm a miss, miss know it all. But I mean, I guess I'm a suck and say, I think everything is perfect. <laughs> so I have no complaints. <laughs> great support system. We have the group. Um, we've become friends. The one thing maybe I'll say, I know because of the pandemic, but I think we need to do more traveling as a group so we can meet. Thank I agree you. with you. I, I agree the with only you. thing that I would change. That's it. Yes. And, and it, we were supposed to like, we were supposed to do a Dubai trip in March and I can't do it because we're in the middle of trying to get a planned move, but I will take that advice and I will make sure that at least by the end of middle to the end of the year that we've got some uh, trips planned as a group, because there's no getting rid of me. <laughs> We're in it to win it. Like you're, you're not getting rid of me. I'm so. keeping you forever. I already told you. Like you're staying. I'm, I'm keeping you forever. I love it. I love it. All right. So, what would be the one thing that you would tell somebody who's thinking about joining the program, um, and 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 they're on the fence? What would be the one thing that you would tell them? The one thing. Oh man, the one. Okay. <laughs> or the one or two things. That okay. You tell okay. Them. So the first thing is finance, right? Because we all know that you need to pay for your service. That's one thing that we learn in the program. Um, for me, I sucked it up and I was like, you know what? Screw it. I'm going to do it. Um, make sacrifices, right? If you want to see growth, you have to make sacrifices. Give up the Dunkin' Donuts. Give up the Starbucks. No new weave. No new sneakers or heels. Did you say no, no new weave? No new weave. No, you better wrap it up. No, no. Okay. <laughs> But you have to make sacrifices. My brain's dead. No. Okay, maybe, maybe, maybe. We'll do that because, you know, I have locks. Maybe that's why I'm saying that. But <laughs> make sacrifices because for some, they'll be like, oh, I don't know. But we learned some good stuff. Like, I have my own business partners who like, Michelle, like, dang, you've grown. Um, the other thing I'll say is remain coachable because there's so much to learn. And me being the student, I refuse to be a like Miss Noble. I need to be able to absorb what you give me because there's a lot of stuff that I did not know. There's a lot of stuff that people are selling out there that is just for the, 
the beauty of the outside. And then when you get in, it's like, this is crap. You know, like it's a lot. And yeah, <laughs> I was trying not to curse, but yeah, that's basically it. Straight up, you know, you know what it is. <laughs> and, and you're so raw and literally what, what they get on their Wednesdays, because that's what, what it did, what did it for me. What they get on those live Wednesdays is what they get times 10. So they got Sunday on a Wednesday, but then they get up times 10. So you got to be open to accepting what's about to come your way and make that sacrifice. I hope they answered I, that. That was a lot. Did. You did. Thank you. I appreciate that. You know, um, you know, and I always like to, to end these uh, testimonial conversations with uh, what I found in you um, and how I've seen you grow. And so, you know, when you did start when you did start in the program, you did share, share with me some personal items of what you wanted to accomplish. But what I loved about you when, when, we, when we met and what I've loved about you in the program is the fact that you've shown up. Um, you've won twice our you know, top student of the month. Uh, and it's because you, you are dedicated. And it's so funny, I was just talking, I was just doing training uh, with one of our team members uh, right before this call. And I was saying, you know, the, the, the types of people that I want in our program are people like you, Michelle, people who are high energy, who are motivated, because that's not my job. It's not my job to bring that energy. It's not my job to bring that motivation. It's you got to come ready to, to have it. And you did every single day. So when you tell me, oh, you know, Mike, I know you were tired. Of it. Never, not one single day was I tired of you showing up um, to the program, showing up with your questions, you know, um, and, and what I love about you is you're very much like me because I'm that student that's like, okay, here's my five, five questions. And, and, and then, you know, you're ready for the answer. And then you got like the other five questions that are coming out. That's exactly the way that I am when I'm in a program. So I know the teacher is like, and, but I've always been like that. So it doesn't bother me because I'm like, yeah, I want you to come prepared because it like, I'd rather you, and like I said, I'd rather you come prepared with 50 questions, 50 on top of 50 on top of 50 questions, because it exercises my program. It exercises the information and you know, I don't want to waste your time and I don't want you to waste my time. So to show up and be like, oh, I haven't gotten through the program yet. I'm like, this is doing it was good. But to come with questions, that helps me. It helps me help you. So I appreciate you showing up. I appreciate you sticking to your own deadline. Um, I love your children. So oh. I knew that that was something that was bothering you that I, and, and I was thinking about that before we met and it didn't bother me um, because I'm a, I'm a mom and I had young children and so what you are doing is amazing. You're going to have an amazing uh, business um, because you are amazing and your uh, tenacity and your uh, commitment to what it is that you're doing shows through in everything that you do. So it's been a pleasure, uh, my biggest pleasure working with you. And I look forward to continuing that relationship. And I'm just so glad that you, uh, that you graduated this level, but there's so many more things for us to get through. So, um, I'm just glad to be on this journey with you. Thank you. You're trying to make me cry. I was yeah. trying to yeah, that's my goal. Like there's some movie and it is like the interviewer's goal is to make them cry. Yeah. So that's my goal is always to make somebody cry and see if I can do it. <laughs> I'm getting hot and sweaty pop, but I'm, I'm, um, that meant a lot. That really meant a lot because besides the travel business, I feel like I've grown as an individual working with you and I will never make that. Re I'll never feel any kind of regret for making the investment because besides the lessons I've gained like a sister from afar <laughs> is what I'll say. And until we meet, I'm so grateful for you. Thank you so much, Sunday.